Hello, good to see you all. Virtual hugs, virtual hugs, yes? All right, so I don't want him to know that you're here, so let's be as quiet as possible. We're gonna walk over here because it's hot. Normally we'd walk inside, but I don't, I don't want him to know that you're here yet because I want to try to catch his very first reaction. And I'll be honest with you, the reason for this is I just, you know, like, see, I'm not like, uh, you know, I'm not like so arrogant that I think I know everything. That's why I'm very honest with you. Like before when I told you, I don't really know how to read him. And, and you know, so in that video where the bite happened, keep in mind that Drew Brew had already been running loose with Savo. All right, like they'd already been loose. He'd been hanging out, he'd ignored him. He'd walk up to him sometimes in posture, but then sometimes he'd just walk away. One time he walked up and postured and then like did this, a play bound and back, you know, ran off. Then what happened, the reason he was on the leash was because he had that ball. And when I was videotaping and I went close to him and he started like growling at me. And I asked you that day, that had he ever, ago, yeah, yes yeah. ma'am, yeah, a little while back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the first yeah, and then you said, no, he's never done that to anybody. I'm like, well, he just growled at me, so, right? So I know, like, so he growled. So I grabbed this leash and then I went, you know, to like to, to, to throw it on him, to, to loop him. And then when he saw the leash, he kind of got a little animated. So the, the aggression or whatever, the, the resource guarding kind of dropped mm -hmm. and I was able to leash him up. And then when I'm walking, he's pulling towards Savo. So I'm like, you want to go say goodbye before I put you up? Yeah. You know, and I'm like, good. So I walk over there and boom. And then the, 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 the bite was, you know, he just got, he, man, he pulls fast. I know. That's why, like, when you were talking to me about that, I know he's, yeah. he's so strong. had he already been that, had that been the impetus for him being out here for training, we would have already addressed that. What I'm trying to say is that some of that requires some redirection yeah. and that redirection ideally needs to come from you. Now we've already done some of it, yeah. but today we need to do it. So in a perfect world, we would be doing it outside where there's a whole bunch of distractions, but it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not going to be able to, we're going to do it inside. There's a, one new dog and there's two new dogs coming that Cranberry is bringing, but there's one new dog in there. Um, he's wild. Yeah. So we want that energy. So normally I would use the throw chains to keep the dogs quiet. And you know how you said to me that when you came one time, the dogs were barking or whatever. That's because Cranberry's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> if Cranberry just grabs one chain, everybody gets quiet. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. So that, so we never tossed the chain at Brew while he was here, but he doesn't bark. Yeah. I don't think I've, I, I don't think I've ever heard him bark. Yeah. Very silent. Very quiet. Yeah. So, um, that being said, I'm gonna let me go and I'm gonna bring him out. I've already given him a potty break. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna. I want to see his reaction. You okay. Look at him? Uh, yes, yes, of course. You can say hello and everything. Okay. But if he tries to jump on you or whatever, I want you to turn. So if he tries to do anything that you dislike, I want you to turn around and then you're over it. Walk away. No, you don't have to walk away. Just turn around. And, like, just make it clear you don't wanna. Like you're uncomfortable. Okay. See, and I, I think part of the reason with dogs with me is that I'm. I'm very dramatic, right? And like with my eyebrows and stuff. So I make it very obvious to them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? What I'm feeling, yeah? Kind of just like, no, no. Okay, so see that though? Yeah. With a dog like Brew, if you think about it, perspective, and please, you know, don't take this the wrong way, but look, you're, you're going like this, no, no. How's that? Remember earlier when I said at one time, he even went like this to Brew. Yeah. And you understood what I meant, yeah? yeah. That play bow, yeah? Butt up in the air and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what it's coming across that you're doing. Play. So when you're going like this, I mean, it. I'm just, I know, I yes, ma'am. Well, going we're going to work on that. I'm going to show you some exercises today that are going to decrease that. That's why I'm glad she's here. Oh, know. I'm glad. Very glad. And the, the more the merrier. Yeah, always. Yeah. This is the thing. Um, so some of the stuff that I'm going to be doing with you are things that I do, right? Like if Marshall's dog would have come to me, I would have been doing a lot of this with him. Yeah. But again, if it's an aggression dog, it, it, it doesn't do you a bit of good if I'm the one, I'm the only one he's chill with. Okay, well, we'll take do you know that what I mean? and we'll just do exactly what you said. Yeah, so, and then inside, if you've, able, if you've been able to watch the videos, yeah. you're going to understand what we're going to be doing. We're doing quick turns on him, yeah? Yeah. Might be loud in there, and I I'm going to... I watch some videos, and I made her watch it on the way, so... So, it's going to be loud, but I have to keep it loud because this is what Brew needs. I need to... Listen, so I know how he reacts in this situation that we're about to go into. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how, if he's going to react differently now that mom is here. Yeah. You see what I mean? So yeah. he's used to working and dogs barking at. So whenever I work him, I let all the dogs go crazy because he needs to have courage under fire. He needs to realize that the noise isn't, so he doesn't get sensory overload and get pissed off. In the beginning, he'll just get pissed off, yeah? Yeah. yeah? All right, so very quietly, come on in, yes? And then I'm gonna have, when, I, when, you say, when you hear me say, come on in, I want you to come in and it doesn't matter, I'm gonna see his reaction. So we'll speed that up, yeah? Just stand right here, please, for a second. Good, 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 good. Good, quiet, babies. Good, quiet, babies. Good, 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 good. Dang. Bentley, you're not supposed to be quiet. 
Okay, he might know already. All right, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come inside. Oh. Okay. Very, very good. All right, hold on. I think this is a new dog. No, no, that's good. So look. Good, good, good. Good, 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 Bentley. Oh, he's really excited. This is good news. So see, that's Sawa. This is the dog he bit. So yeah, look, so this is what he means, yeah? So look. Good sit, Papa. Oh, good sit. Good sit, my love. Good sit. Good sit. Good sit. Good sit. Okay. Can you bring him up to you? Take him to the leash, please. Take him. No, apply. Perfect. 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 Hold on. Do I have your leash and training collar? You have it? Okay. Let me go grab one. So you see, all the dogs are quiet except for the new one. He just got here an hour ago. See how everybody else more or less quiet? Come on. So look, the only dog that's barking is that dog. He's a new dog. Everybody else more or less calm. Now this sucks, see? Because the dogs are being quiet now. Not good, you know what I mean? But I don't, I don't, I don't think you'll be able to hear me. So what we should have done is you should have brought your Bluetooth. I should have told you to bring your Bluetooth so we could have just talked via the Bluetooth. Uh, so in other words, we need the calamity. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Because listen, right now, all the dogs going crazy, especially going crazy, directing their craziness at you. No, 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 right, but them going crazy and it, it being directed towards you and him being like, he just, for him to even sit right here. Yeah, and so I, that's I, what exposure therapy, yeah? that's what he needs, yeah? So he needs that type of thing. So listen, there's a couple of things that you have to work on. You have to get the muzzle accomplished because if not, that's what I'm gonna work on next, next week. Are you able to do anything with that? No, no, so listen, I want you to understand, yes? So every time the dog is here, there is no uh, playbook that I'm going by. Everything is, I'm, I'm, everything I ebb and flow. Because we didn't, so the reason that I wanted to put the muzzle on him, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, this is probably better. The reason that I wanted to put the, the muzzle on him was to do some of the things that we've already done with him this week without a muzzle. Like the video I sent you today with him running loose with him. Yeah. You know, I wanted to muzzle him at first because if they get into it, it's gonna be bad. Now he'll shut down though, he'll stop fast, but he will fight back. See, Sabo, I don't even think realize he's been attacked. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, just ignore him though, right? Just ignore him. That man, he's very happy. So I am used to seeing him happy, for sure. And look, I wanted to, I was initially going to keep him a few more days, but there's no need to. We've had nothing but tremendous success. So the video that I uploaded today is not even half of what we didn't, we've been able to accomplish. Like in terms of him being with other dogs, we've accomplished a tremendous amount. Yeah, like yeah? it's definitely a change. Oh, listen, I'm going to tell you, it's amazing that it happened so fast. And the operative power and the reason that it's happened faster than it would happen for my regular client is because you've been on top of it. You've been about your business, which is I appreciate. I have a Corso that's coming that's biting people, yes? One thing that's true is this Corso, when he shows up and he's sitting there and he sees that dogs are excited to be pet by a stranger, the dog's also going to start doing that, yes? That's the most vocal I've seen him be. Now, let's put this on him. Because so you got an appointment, you got a call or something at five, or you got to be in the other side of town at five. Okay, all right, let's put this on him. I, think that I did everything I, th I wanted to do with him with a muzzle, without a muzzle. How about that? Okay. I mean, I promise you, I have other trainer friends of mine telling me, man, you're crazy, man. I can't believe you just did that, you know, because this dog was hot. Yeah. He was pissed all the time, yeah? So again, okay. now watch what I'm going to do, yes? Now, I'm going to, I'm only going to do a little bit of this because I need you to do this. And it, it needs to come from you, yeah? So watch. I'm going to touch him. So right now that I've placed him in the sit, if he doesn't, if I don't touch him or ask him to, He's not allowed to get up. Yeah, I saw that okay, so now I'm going to touch him, yes? Oh, look. I'm gonna to touch him, now I'm gonna to walk towards you. Now watch what I'm gonna do. Oh, he's smart. So look. Oh, and it's unfair here. So look, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get him right as he hits the end of this leash. So not only does the 
natural momentum bite him, but I'm adding a little pop to it too. So he's paying attention. So he's watching me. Yeah. Right, so look. Oh, good, 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 good. Smart, handsome, handsome, handsome. Good, 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 watch. Ooh, see, caught him. You're gonna have to be very strict on this, yes? That doesn't mean that I want him to walk at your side every time you come to, you know, you do, you walk him. But let's say that you're coming and there's a bunch of dogs, then you need him out of here. You see what I mean? Now look, now that I've applied, now that I've sat down, I, I probably made a mistake there. I, I probably let him sit on his own. Even if he's going to sit on his own, I want you to start applying the bite to make him understand his place. You're just, I'm sorry? Are you good good right now or anything? Yeah, 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 uh, me? Oh. Yeah, yeah, when you're doing it, yes, yes. So I'm, I'm talking to you, I'm, I'm, I'm dictating or narrating, so I'm, that's why I'm not doing it. But yes, I would normally be doing good, good a bunch, yes? So especially when, if I make a turn and he nails that turn, I'm gonna chant the word good, yes? So watch, I touched him. Now look, I'm gonna try to catch him off guard. Good, 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 good. He's making a fair play at it. I'm gonna go near you guys and I'm hoping he gets distracted by you. Oh, unbelievable. You see that pop? Good, good, good. Good, Papa. Now look, when I come to a stop, look, I'm going to apply pressure. He's gonna sit even if I don't apply pressure, I promise you, he's good, yeah? But we're not gonna let him do it, okay? So now look, now because I haven't touched him, I don't want him to stand up. And it doesn't matter if I drop the leash, even if I drop the leash, if he stands up, I'm gonna react. You see my left shoulder blade? I keep my left shoulder blade pointed towards him, yes? This makes him feel as if, as if I'm hunting him, yeah? If a, if a pack of wolves comes around you and they're circling you with the right shoulder blade, they're probably just like sniffing you curious. If they're walking around you with their left shoulder blade, they're gonna attack you, yeah? So this, so see how I'm like this? Even if I'm walking away this way, you see how I'm always like this? Look, he's aware of me. You know what I mean? It's kind of like he's making you feel creepy, you know, like when you go someplace and somebody's making you feel creepy. Do you know what I mean? So that's that, listen, he needs to, you need to be able to make him feel uneasy at times. Yeah, see how I keep my, Right shoulder blade like this, yes, for now. That's what you gotta do. If I don't touch him, I don't want him to stand up. When I come back to him, I'm gonna pause for three seconds. If I'm talking too fast, let me know, but I'm trying to get you out, yes? I'm gonna pause for three seconds before I acknowledge him. That way I can do things like this, yes? Do you see what I mean? Most trainers can't go near their dog. Yeah. Probably Marshall probably can't go near his dog on a stay, pause for three seconds and walk away, and the dog not get up. Most trainers do this, they'll call the dog, they'll tell the dog stay, walk 10 feet and then say, here, don't do that, that's stupid, yeah. The dog, the dog needs to know, right, life lesson, you're always going to come back to him. Yeah. Good down, Papa. The dog never lays down. He never lays down on me, so he's showing off. This is a good sign. The Malinois, Coco was like that too, never lay down on me. Yeah, you need to practice it inside, you need to practice it outside. It needs to be your business. You need to be about it. So look again, I'm gonna come back to him. I'm gonna pause for three seconds. If he sits up, I'm going to acknowledge it with a good upset, good settle, good down. So you see the differences? If he's side saddling, I'm gonna say good settle. If, he, if, if I see him jostled into a side saddle, I'm gonna say good settle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has, so look, look, nip. You saw the nip? And I'm gonna bring him back to where he was at. I, I don't want him to get back on my left hand side though. So I'm trying to lure, lead him back without letting him get back on my left because if he gets back on my left, now he starts assuming that we're healing. So, uh, so with a stupid dog like Savo, you don't have to worry about all the minutia. Right yeah, no, just like this, look. If he had moved a few feet, I'm gonna pull him and try to prevent. He was trying to get back on my left. So I'm just leading him back to the spot. The problem, the issue that you saw there was he's trying to get back on my left because he's good. Yeah. He's understanding, you know, he's smart. That's the thing, he's problem solving, yes? So look, now I come back to him, yes, I'm gonna pause for three seconds. One, two, three. It's imperative that you pause for three seconds because if you don't, he's gonna get anxious and he's just gonna jump every time you get near him. So look, I'm gonna touch, I'm gonna walk forward. Good, 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 smart. Look, smart. Now there, other trainers probably would have nicked him or corrected him, but I know he's trying, you know what I mean? So I'm not gonna nick him if he's trying, yeah? yeah. If I know it's an honest mistake, yeah? So look, now you see that? Boom, I got him twice. You know why I got him twice? Because he didn't react fast enough. Yeah. If it's this dog, big old Greta, oh, I made a mistake. You know what the mistake was? What? Oh, you like that. I didn't apply pressure. Oh. I allowed him.
to go into that beautiful sit by himself. Not good, yeah? I want him, I want to force him into that sit, yeah? So keep in mind that the, the first time he came here, because you need to force him into it. You're just gonna be a dominant, packed female, okay? Do you know what I mean? It's like the dog Coco that I had, the Malinois. She's really dominant. She would like try to nip at all the dogs' heels. She never did that to him, but she would, I was afraid that she would do that. So the day her dad picked her up, we let them play for a little bit. She didn't do that to him. But give her enough time, she's gonna antagonize him by nipping at his heels, at his ankles, being really dominant, yes? It can, but I need you to play that role. You want to try it here in a little bit? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, for sure. Well, well, both of you then, yes? But again, you got to have the handling down. The handling is the most important part, yeah? So again, now watch. You need to be about it, yeah? You need to just do things. So let me tell you something. Instead of setting aside 15 minutes to train with him, what you need to do is you need to make it a part of your daily routine, all right? So let me give you an example. Let me turn the fan off. Oh, okay, all right, all right, that's, all right, problem. So watch, watch what I'm gonna do. If you were at home, yes, the best thing to do would be to do things like this. Yeah, let's say I'm coming over here. You know, you're just doing stuff. Look, he wants to go in. Just doing stuff, yeah? Do busy work. Touch him. You know, bring him around. No, 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 not confused. I know it looks confusing, but do stuff and make him stay put, go, go to the dishes. Apply pressure, see? Go to the dishes and pretend like you're doing the dishes. Pretend like you're getting on the phone, yes? Pretend do things like this, look. Ooh, oh, he knows better. He saw he sat back down, but guess what I'm gonna do? I'm still gonna be 100% and I'm still gonna bite him. Okay. If, you, if he makes the mistake, I'm going to react, okay? If he's things like this, look. Good. So you see what I mean? So this is what I do most of the time. So Cranberry does a lot of the training with him, but when I'm here with him, I just make them do things with me throughout the day. So look, pressure, pressure, pressure. You see what I mean? Pressure, unrelenting pressure until he puts his butt down. Right, if I would have kept, if I would have continued the bite, he would have laid down. That's too far though, yeah? So anything that I do, yeah? Anything that I do, I don't care. I don't care what I'm doing. Why not? Yeah, man. Now, if you want him to maintain five minutes, you might have to do 15 minutes. And eventually it whittles down. But look, when he's here with me, I need to do therapy with him. I need to do the crazy stuff. If I'm doing this with him, it's not going to work. I'm going to be the one he respects, not you. He needs to respect you, yeah? Not me. Right? So watch. Handsome. Good, good, good. And I'm going to bring him back. Ooh, you know he used to jump for that ball. That's the ball he grabbed at me for. Okay. Yeah? So look. And this is what I was trying to choke cranberry in one of the videos. Watch what I'm going to do. Look, I'm going to pivot. Ooh, pop. Do you see that? I got him. Oh, I got him. So when I know he's not paying any attention, look, I'm going to stop short. Pop. I did it so slow she sat down, huh? Cool, huh? So again, look, even if I'm having a conversation with somebody, I would still just react like this, yes? No matter what. The, the more calamity and distractions there are while you're handling him properly, the better the results you're, are, you're gonna get. You shouldn't say it verbally then, because eventually, if no. you have the collar on, I mean. And then it's gonna become, if you're doing it right, it's gonna become automatic. This dog, we never put him on the leash. This dog's automatic. Look, I take him outside, he's gonna sit on his own. He, we don't, no commands. Well, come on, they just understand. They start reading you, yeah? Like, look, he's laying down. He understands. He knows Erwin doesn't want me to go over there. Right now. Why else would he not run up to you? Think about that, yeah? So, you can give him the commands, but that's not going to change his behavior. You want him to be like a service dog, yeah? A service dog, you're not constantly giving, you're not issuing commands to all the time. Okay? So, look again. Now, the jumping, okay? Back to the punishment. So now I'm gonna have grandma come right over here. Mom, grandma, would you stand right over there, please? Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm gonna pet him. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, goofy boy. So watch. I've touched him. I'm going to allow him and I'm gonna tell him to. Watch.
go bananas. Have some boy. Now I'm gonna give him, because I told him to go, good start. But because I told him go bananas, I'm gonna give him freedom. So I'm not gonna enforce him on my left, okay? But that doesn't mean he can be bad. So I'm gonna walk him up to you. If he doesn't jump on you, then I'm gonna have him entice you. I mean, entice him, yes? If he puts his butt on the ground, please pet him under the chin. I can't really understand what you're saying. Okay, so let me tell you one more time. I'm gonna walk him up to you. If he doesn't, if he sits in front of you, if he sits, you're gonna pet him under the chin. If he jumps, don't pet him. I'm gonna correct him. Now the way I'm going to correct him is I'm going to correct him as if I'm standing at the center of a clock. So this is 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock and nine o'clock. So I'm gonna rotate. The moment he does something naughty, jumps up, sniffs inappropriately, anything that we don't like, I'm going to nip. If that one nip doesn't make him turn towards me, I'm gonna nip again, even five times, pop, 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 until he does it. And then I'm gonna rotate in place, the tightest rotation I could possibly make, so watch. I'm not gonna nip him, but I would nip him there, I would nip him here, I would nip him here and here, at every quarter. So, oh my God, so handsome. Nip, so a nip is just a quick little pop on the leash. A bite is what you're doing to make him put his butt on the ground. So, now watch what I'm gonna do, yes? So again, I'm gonna walk him up to grandma, I'm gonna let him go ahead of me, okay? And now watch for my corrections. Well, no, no, yeah, but that was potentially an, an, an inappropriate sniffing. You see what I mean? We gotta, we gotta be, have this dog on a tight leash. So look, I'm gonna touch him. Good, good, good. No, he's other one. Good, good, good. Look what happened. That's the first time I've ever done that with him. Oh, he likes, like, he likes, he likes snuggling. He likes, look, so look. That's okay, yeah, of course. He's not, he's not learned this yet. He's not, he, yes, of course, but this is the first time we've done that with him. Do you yeah. see what I mean? So yes. So look, good, good, good. Oh, but see, wait. So you, 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 you touched him too early, yes? You wanna wait until his butt touches the ground completely before you pet him, okay? Otherwise, he's just gonna just hover, sit, okay? Very good. Okay, now will you take the leash, please? I'm gonna, if I'm yelling, pardon my yelling, yes? So what I want you to do is I want you, Okay, I want you to stand next to him, please. Square up so you're facing the same direction he's facing. With him on your left, please. Very good. Now you're going to touch him. You don't want to keep any tension on the lead, so it's either you're biting him. Any small tension is translating as a bite. You don't want that. Yeah. So look. So watch. He's probably gonna get quiet now, All right? It's sad, huh? Okay. But okay, that's what we need, yeah. Okay, much better. Can you hear me now? Yeah. All right. And I'm going to do that again to him, yeah? So look, the mistake would be me going to grab that one. I should have another one handy. I know where the other one's at. So look, you're going to touch him and you're going to walk. No tension on the lead. Even the slightest tension is communicating something to him, yes? So no tension on the lead. You're going to touch him, then you're going to start walking. What you should do is go towards mom so he goes ahead of you, and the moment he goes ahead of you, you're going to give him a little slack. You're going to nip as you turn and go in the opposite direction. Think you can do that? Yeah. Opposite direction, like going this way. Yes, ma'am, always to your right, very quick to your right. If you turn left, you're turning into him, and that's going to confuse you potentially. Okay. Right? So that is something that we'll do with him, but not, not yet, okay? So touch him and start to walk, please. Touching. Towards her, yes, now turn, turn. Jesus Christ, he did that really well. You did, no, he did that really well. Keep walking. He didn't do what I thought he was gonna do. So that's a good sign. Now slow down, yes, now. Look, nick, nick, nick him. So anytime he hops, you're gonna nick. Now, couple, no, no, a couple of things. So we don't wanna say the word no yet. Not yet, okay? And then the other thing is, I want you to continue your walk. Hey, but look how that chain worked, huh? Look, look, look. And again, do it prematurely, man. I normally, I give the dogs, like, listen, I'm a, I'm a dog lover, yeah? I give them like three days before they, they get any of that, yeah? I promise you. <laughs> Poor dog, yeah, he just got it today. But I bred him. He knew me the first six weeks of his life, right? And if his mom would've already been doing it, it wouldn't even be a problem. Yeah. But they don't follow my guidelines, so. Yeah, so no, so no telling him anything, yes, all right? So what I want you to do is look, if he's walking and he's kind of hopping, woo, when you're walking with him, I want you to give him a quick, a quick, let's call it a yank, pop, but yes, ma'am, but don't break your walk. If you break your walk, he's going to musical chairs with you. Okay. And in this situation, if he were to stand up next time, you're going to apply constant pressure, so you're gonna give him a bite. A nip is a quick yank, 
Okay, a bite. Yes, ma'am. Up to always up towards your right shoulder blade, not to the back. For both, a bite is going to be a, a, a sustained pull until he puts his butt down. Okay, touch him and start to walk, please. Oh, see, don't tell him. Come on, don't say anything to him. Maybe the word good. Turn to your right, please. Turn to your right, please. Unbelievable, huh? See, unbelievable. Yeah. Awesome. He's handsome. Turn to your right. There you go. Now try to cut left on him if you think you can do it. Remember what I did earlier? You did it. Perfect. I like that. No, no, keep doing it. You're doing it good. You're doing it awesome. I love it. Perfect. Nip, nip, nip him there. Nip him. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. So that was good. But you know what? So what we just, and I, I like this. And I probably, hopefully, I got that on video. Yeah, but I didn't forget to turn this thing on. This is the thing, yes? Is right there. She technically punked him. She gave him a correction. So you came to an abrupt stop and pop. You got him. So that's technically not wrong. And he, and he was going to sit even before your pop came. So that is a good example of what you're going to be doing in a week from now. Okay. So this week, remember how I said every time you come to a stop, I want you to apply pressure so he glides into the sit. So do you see what I mean? The way you did it, you, when you stopped abruptly, is a really good test that you're going to be doing with him after you know he's, he understands he's supposed to sit at the stop of a heel. You see what I mean? You see how that, that abrupt stop and pop? Yeah, it's more abrupt, it's more smooth. Exactly, all right? So touch him, please, and start to walk. You're doing awesome. Cut left on him. What? Left on him, please. Nip, 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 nip. Good job. Perfect. You did that perfectly. That's wonderful. Very good. You're doing awesome. He's not even going after that ball. Look, looks like he's a, in a competition, yeah? Look at that. That's unbelievable. You did that perfectly, yes? Come towards me, please. You're going to slow down. Start applying pressure. Start applying pressure. Constant pressure up towards your right shoulder blade. Ooh, beautiful. You did it. You did it. That, that's okay. You, you did it inadvertently. You want to go up towards your right shoulder blade, yes? Because look, people try to pull back. Pulling back just makes the dog want to go forward. All right? If you pull up towards your right shoulder blade, they're going to be like, and go into the sit. Well, you're saying pulling back because he's pulling forward. Yeah. Well, but if, listen, but if instead you were to pull in the opposite direction, you're going to get better results. And again, and now the best thing to do is to catch him slipping. Yeah. You see what I mean? Let's say that you've been working with him and he's doing good. So let me tell you something. If I see outside and I happen to see somebody with a dog, which is rare out here, yeah, on a leash, rare, I bust ass out there with Brew. Because I want him yeah. to dart out ahead of me. He doesn't do it anymore. Yeah. He knows what's up. He knows, oh, no, oh he's going to catch me. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like number one thing for her. So you have to test him. If he thinks you're testing him and that you do test him, he's going to pass the test. Do you see, that's why dogs do really well for me is because I make them feel as if I'm testing them, that I want them to mess up so that I can get them, so I can give that bite. And they know I'm a good person because I'm good to them all the other times, yes? Very, look, look what happened. Look. Beautiful, huh? Now, right there when you were petting him, yes, now that you've touched him, if he stands up, that's allowable. Number two. If he stands up right now and starts to jump on you, you need to apply pressure. The other thing that you should do is hold the leash daily with him, okay? Make him sit at your side without telling him to sit. Oh, awesome. Yeah, man, good down. Make him sit at your side while you're just talking to one another, right? Make him sit at your side. Maybe eventually you can have your cup of coffee while you're sitting, while he's sitting at your side. And then try to get him excited. Bro, oh my God, bro, oh my God, bro. So that he goes up and the moment he goes up, boom, you apply that pressure. Did he have this going on all day and then, you know, he should. He doesn't hear. Yes, you can. You're going to get better results if you, yeah. if you still keep him on the kennel regimen. You just start sprinkling on leash training sessions in there. Okay. He'll look forward to them. Now, if you want to give him more freedom, that's good. But I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to make the process take longer because they assimilate it better if they have more downtime. I'm just being honest know, with if, you. If he's off leash and, and out of the kennel, mm -hmm. and... Uh, He's so cute. And, Happy uh, boy. He's being like really good, just like mm -hmm. sleeping. Yep. Do I just leave him out? But of course. And the moment he gets annoying, you put him up. Okay, and we have a bed for him. Is that okay? 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 Of course, you want to. And every time he goes on the bed, you're going to say, good bed. You're going to say, good bed. No, no, you're not going to, but you don't practice that. You don't start off like that. Yeah, you build the habit 
on the leash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see what I mean? Let me tell you something. I've yeah, never. But he he can he he can run loose without the leash on though. Yeah, yeah. If he's not if he's behaving well, why not? Yeah, exactly. Do you see what, if you can give him something to chew on and he like here sometimes if I give him a tennis ball he'll just go and like he likes to stick his head over there in that corner and he'll just sit there and destroy the tennis ball. And we just leave that collar on him all the time. If you're home, don't leave it on him unsupervised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. But yes, you should. Right, and then we should put him on the leash multiple times a day, and just do shenanigans like sweep things, like mop things, like put put him in the sit stay while you sweep things, like force him to do things, make him behave that way, and you're going to see it's going to start translating in the real world off leash. Yeah, yeah. With enough repetition, people just don't give it enough repetition. You know, That's the problem. Okay. Dude. And, bring and work him there. If there's a crap ton of squirrels out there, and you're like, man, those squirrels, oh, lizards, there's squirrels. Maybe there's an iguana outbreak. Yeah, you don't know in 2020. You do that. The first, listen, you see a, per, a, a squirrel out there, yeah? You get him on the leash, put him outside, and the moment he darts out ahead, he pop, pop. Well, you're going to make your impression feel really fast. He's going to understand. Yeah. Same thing with a dog. And with the video that I uploaded today with Esau, that's what he did when Esau ran out. He pumped up, and you saw, I caught him. Pop, pop. You see what I mean? But I've also yeah. caught him with a bunch of dogs. Yeah. So it's all of that coming into play. Yes? Now, yeah. what I want you to do now is you're going to touch him. You're going to let him walk up to mom. If he does anything inappropriate, jumps up, sniffs inappropriately, anything that you don't think your guests are going to like, you're going to give a nip. Then you're going to rotate clockwise. Okay? So you're going to rotate. Then you're going to rotate in place. Yes, ideally. Nip, nip, nip. No, ma'am. Just touch him. If touching him is too much, then you can say heel, yes? But touch him and let him walk all the way up to mom. Oh my God, that's unbelievable. I mean, of course I know that's happening. Yeah, beautiful. That's awesome. Hand her the leash, please. Now, mom, as soon as he has the leash, if he starts to hop, you're going to apply pressure, yes? Now turn into him, mom, with him at your left. Uh, apply pressure. Oh, look at that. It's like he was walking back to, to get back at your side again. Right? Yeah, Perfect. <laughs> you no, know, no, like he wanted to go back to your mom though. He's like, yeah, he was got up. You're doing good, yes? Good. Uh, apply, yeah, there you go. So look, for right now, pick your battles. That little happy yeah. hop. And in fact, you know what I would do? I would say, good look. Oh, good look. Yes, you need to be that. See, good look. Good look. Because he's like making direct. Oh, uh, apply pressure. Good job. So what you want to do is you want to just apply. And you can grab it smaller here, yeah? So you can just go like this, look. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. So, and listen, be honest with you, I'm really good at it sleight of hand wise. I can, I can make it look like I'm not even doing it, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just that's because of years and years of doing it, the 10,000 hour rule. So <laughs> as you do it, yeah, you're going to understand and you're going to get the ease of it, okay? Yeah. Um, very, very, very good. Yeah, at the beginning, he fought us a lot over that. Like the first time we put that collar on him, he tried to bite me. You gotta be careful. Yeah. yeah, you know, he's done awesome though. What a, what a beautiful dog. Greta, it's okay, baby. All right, now touch him, please, and start to walk. Now, because you said you can hear me over that, I'm going to allow that, yeah? You want, oh, look, apply pressure. No, no. Okay, so look, yeah. You want to keep walking. You want to keep walking, right? So look, turn, turn, please. So he's a little more distracted with you, yes? Nick, Nick, see? Ooh, he's noticed he's watching other dogs when you're handling him. Yeah. He didn't do that with mom. He didn't do that with me, yes? Cut left on him, please. Perfect, 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 perfect. Turn to the right, turn towards me, please. Again, oh my God, that was a quick turn. You didn't, you didn't pull him, did you? Okay, he was on point. Come towards me, please. Come towards me. Start to slow down. Start to apply pressure as you slow down. Okay, stop. Oh, that's good. So, so he, he, he nailed it, yes? Yeah, he nailed it. But do you see what I mean? But you want to start. So if you're walking this fast, you want to slow down like 50% the last few steps. Gotcha. Hey, Cranberry. You got to stay in there. Leave the van on. What are you doing? There's two dogs in there, yes? For God's sakes, put the van, put, put the AC on. And hold on. All right, very, very, very good. So... Start walking. Good job. He loves cranberry, yeah? Nick, 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 Nip, Nip. All those missed opportunities, see? All those missed opportunities. Perfect, Nip. Missed opportunities. You see what I mean? Yeah. Slow down, please. Slow down. Nip, no, keep walking. Keep walking. There you go. Just, just, turn to your right. Turn to your right. Cranberry is going to be a very good distraction. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very good. Come towards me, please. Start to slow down. Now start to apply pressure as you slow down. Perfect. That's what you want. Even though he's probably going to sit on his own, it doesn't matter. It's okay if I'm looking at him 
course. Yeah, man. Yes, oh, of course. No, 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 no. That's, that's when, listen, you're ambivalent with him when he's running around loose because you don't know what he's thinking. Yeah. Right now he's thinking happy thoughts. He's like, man, shake this out with my mom. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? But listen, he did, so technically healing-wise, he did better for your mom. And so, that, so that's data that I need, information. Yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah. what that means. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say, well, this is what that means. No, I don't know. Him no, I think with him it's just because he's just so, the elation, it's just sensory overload with him. Because mm -hmm. even like with, with Greta, yes? Mm -hmm. So sensory overload. So now what, what we're gonna do, do you understand what I'm talking about this, yes? So every time he starts to hop, you're going to nip, nip, and keep your walk, okay? I want you to walk around him counterclockwise. Keep releasing your hand. If he stands up, you're going to apply pressure very quickly. Apply pressure, no, no, and you stopped walking. Musical chairs, yes? If he stands up, you don't want to stop walking. So walk around him counterclockwise again, please. Apply pressure. No, no, yeah, so those, yeah, there you go. The moment he gets up, you're going to apply pressure. Very good. Come towards him. Step next to him, please. apply pressure. Yeah, see he's, yeah, okay, very good. Oh, apply pressure. He doesn't want you to yeah, stand yeah. next to him. Yeah, that's okay, stand next to him, stand next to him. Very good, touch him, walk towards me, and then go right back to where the spot you were at, please. Turn, please, good, beautiful. Go back to where you were at, facing me again, please. Slow down, come to a stop. Perfect, you should have been applying pressure when you made that turn, yeah? But you're doing good. Now, I want you to walk around him, expecting that he's going to rise and you're going to apply pressure. You can watch him. Keep your left shoulder blade pointed towards him, and the moment he stands up, very good, perfect. Stand right next to him. Square up to him, pause for three seconds. That's awesome. But you need to be ready to apply pressure because listen, that obsessive behavior of him wanting to watch where you're going, it's a negative. He does that. If he wasn't attacking other dogs, I would say pick your battle, who cares? I know, I know. But he's attacking other dogs, so there's battles that I want to pick, yeah? Can't be obsessed, yeah? can't be obsessed. Yeah, he's obsessive. All right, very good. Oh my God. That's awesome. Hey, Bubba. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now we're going to just go hardcore, yeah? We got two new dogs coming. One's a bully. He's scared right now. So this is what we're going to do really, really fast. He's just going to bring the dog in and you're going to correct Brew if he reacts. Okay. You think you can handle it or you want to see me handle it? Uh, I like him. You think so? All right. So what you do is you keep him at the sit. The moment he sees the dog, if he doesn't move, you're gonna praise. If he goes forward, you're going to very quickly snap and rotate. Do that same correction that we did with mom on the jumping with you and make him sit back at your side and you're gonna stand right over there, okay? So go stand over there right at the entrance of the kitchen, touch him. So you're gonna stand right here, yes? All the dogs are gonna bark and I'm gonna allow it. Face me now, please, start to apply pressure. That's perfect. So after a week of applying pressure and you know he's already got it down, then you can start nipping him when you stop walking and he doesn't do it. You see what I mean? Yeah. But that's a punishment. So what you're doing right now is a reminder. That's a reminder. A quick nip, like your mom did that one time inadvertently, that was a punishment. Woohoo! Look at the new dog. Good, good, good. No, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? No, no, because nothing. He's not doing anything wrong. He's staying put. You should be praising him right now. That's unbelievable. That's a miracle. I'm sorry to chastise you, yeah? <laughs> but no, man. He, he's doing amazing. I swear to God, I thought he was gonna lunge. He didn't. That's unbelievable, yes? Good, 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 Brew. He's watching him. Good, 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 Papa. Handsome, good, good, good. So he's never boarded before. Look how he's shivering, yeah? Wait, 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 wait till you see him in a week or so. He's gonna be happy as can be really bad. He's really bad about jumping. Yeah, he just got here from spring, yep. Aww. Yeah, but see, this is, a, yeah, he's gonna, he's here for guard dog. He's here for guard dog training. So this is the thing though, yeah? So we're gonna build aggression with him. This is the thing though, is this is what people don't understand. So look, even like at that, um, so most trainers, they won't give a dog. So this dog, there's no way in hell tomorrow I'm gonna mess with, I'm gonna make him do things. I'm not gonna do all the stuff I did with Brew with him tomorrow. Hell no. Most training places will though. Don't matter if they don't give him time to acclimate. They need time to acclimate. Yeah. Step number one, right? Let him get comfy. He's beautiful. Hey man, you're bad boy. You're bad, I can't wait. I'm gonna have so many videos of you. Handsome, good sit. All right, yeah. People love those Corso videos, yeah, and I bred him. 
I bred him, and so I was just thinking, people gonna buy my next litter? Fly, they, they go so fast. What a blessing. Yeah, uh, so awesome, good sit, Sabo. All right, now, we gotta do it, yeah, because the dog did so good. I swear to God, I thought he was gonna lunge. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? I and now, but yeah, you were pulling, okay, so he wasn't, he was just extending this to get a sniff. He's a setter, yeah, it's like in the jeans, yeah? yeah right, so that's good. So we should have just been praising, praising good, 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 okay? Now, watch what I'm gonna do, yeah? So I'm gonna get my secret weapon, all right? But check this out, yeah? Bam! So you see? Yeah. See what I did, yeah? No, no, don't touch him. Good, 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 Sabo. Good, good, good. Good, Sabo. He's only nine months old. <laughs> yeah, he's... So see, this dog's nine months old. He's a baby still, yeah? So he just, I mean, he doesn't know. He has no idea he's been attacked before. Yeah. Good, 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 Sabo. All right, walk him around, please. Touch him and start to walk. Beautiful. I was hoping Sabo would approach you, but he didn't. Good. All right, yeah, turn to your left or right or whatever. Try to catch him off guard. So turn in on him, good job. Good job, yeah, walk him towards the dog, please. Walk him right near that smelly butt. Right near that smelly butt. Come towards the left. To the left. To the left. To the left. Cut into him. You gotta react. So you gotta keep moving. Yeah, you gotta keep it up. Nick. There you go. See, I'm still learning to read him. I'm still learning to read the dog. Yeah? yeah. Nick. 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 And then keep walking. Yes. So you gotta, those are your, no, Nick. Those are your times. Yeah, but yes, and you're kind of like pulling. You need it needs to have a little snap to it. Yeah, it needs to have a little snap. All right. Very, very good. So that could have gone really bad, yeah? All right, good, 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 Sabo. You love her, huh? No, look, no, no. Nick, 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 Nick. Those are all the times. Keep on, Nick, 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 turn. You gotta, you gotta, little pull, you gotta pull a little more, hey, no, sir. You gotta little pull, put a little more stank on it than that, okay? Hey, he's about nine months old. Nine months? Yeah, he's big. He's from Russia, we got him imported from Russia. Yeah. There's not that many of them here in the United States. Good, good, good. Yeah, normally we got him shaved down like a lion. But you know, all the stuff that has happened, COVID and everything. Good, 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 Sabo. Hey man, if anybody's gonna get attacked, it's gonna be him. Cause he's annoying. He's real annoying. Good, good, good. And he got no training. And, and like, I'm really easy on him cause he got a limp. Yeah, I'll make him do anything. Good, good, good. Slow down, apply pressure, please. Come to a stop. That's what he needs, yeah? We need to work him around other dogs like this. Yeah, all right, very good. But listen, I fully think you're going to have a dog who at the very least is going to be ambivalent about other dogs. It's just the problem with the dog park is going to be dogs that are annoying and like approaching him and getting into his personal space. But him, as far as him like attacking and going out after the dogs, that's going to, I mean, that's just going to stop. Are we allowed to um, have him like out for a walk for a long time? Or yes, of, of course. Yes, so if you're, if you're comfortable with your handling skills, then he benefits. If you don't handle him properly though, he doesn't. So maybe start like outside in the front yard a little right. bit. Right, so see, around. what I would have done differently then when I, when, when, when I walked in with the dog, is the moment that he didn't get up and ri his butt didn't rise, I would be praising. Good, 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 good. Across the way or something, would I just put him into a set? No, if, if, listen, no, because then that alerts that, that you've changed something. It shouldn't change anything. If you're walking and he's walking with you, do you know, and, so, and a dog is there, then let him walk with you. The only time, now let's say that you have him, let's say you tell him to go bananas. If you tell him to go bananas, you need to give him five to 10 minutes. So after every video that I've shot, we've walked him down the neighborhood and letting him pull us whatever he wants to do. Yeah. I don't care, I'm picking my battles. So I want him to know. Five minute training and then like let him go bananas. Let him go bananas, walk for 10 minutes and at the end of the 10 minute session, Make him enforce the heel again for a few minutes, or enforce the heel and stuff on the way back home, stopping, walking around him in circles, different things like that, yes? Now, if he's on a go bananas walk, a walk where he's kind of have, has some freedom, and you see another dog, don't make him do anything. If he doesn't react to the other dog, or if he looks up at the other dog but doesn't do anything, the moment he looks away, you say, good. Okay. Because again, he's not growling. Now, if he starts to growl, or he like goes forward like he wants to lunge, then you're going to pop, 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 pop and then you keep him at your side the rest of the walk. But if he doesn't react and he's sniffing a fire hydrant and another dog walks by, you praise him. Yeah. Why punish him and to force him to go back to work? We can take him for like a long walk with this, right? 
Heck yeah, you just gotta use this. Because you gotta be able to pop him. No, yeah, well, listen, but that's what he needs. I know, he needs it. Do you see? And, if he's, and, and, and part of it is, every time you walk him and you fail handling-wise, whether you know it or not, it's a, it's a setback. So if you don't feel comfortable with your handling, don't walk him. You wait until we do a few more classes. See, the thing is that, especially if you're patient, yes? And again, if you're struggling, don't walk him. Be patient, because once the weather comes down, We'll be able to do different things, right? Like let's say, now I can come out to you and bring one dog and maybe him not react, but if you come out here, you see you can take him for a little walk here and we'll bring random dogs out. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? And then there's training dogs that I trust to cut loose in the yard. So do you see what I mean? We'll have, so he just needs exposure yeah. and you need to handle him properly during that exposure. Yeah, right. He's a goofy dog. He's, He's so charming. Goofy. I love him. <laughs> like, you know, now I have no, like, you know, the other day, like we were shooting videos. And like I realized, like Cranberry walked right up to him and grabbed that ball and he's like, hey, remember when he growled at you over this ball? This is bad. What? Who growled? Well, no. This is... No, there's nothing wrong. Good, 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 good. Look. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Good, 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 bro. Good, good, good. So watch my leash. Watch my leash. Good, good, good. Handsome, bro. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. This is what we want. This is what you used to do. Yeah, so look. This is first day here. This is why I'm talking about breaking up the boarding. Because it'll just get acclimated. Yeah. Good, good, good. See, he's not growling. Good, good, good. But I don't know if he, I don't, I don't think that dog is growling, but yeah, that's just kind of what you want to do. Today, he's just been ignoring this dog completely. Good, good, good. Oh, he came around and like, I don't want to do with you. Good, good, good. <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah, man. He liked that one, but this one not so much. This one is because it's, he's new here today. This one got here maybe a few hours ago. He's already sniffed him. Yeah. But keep in mind that every time we get a new dog, I cut Brew loose and Brew doesn't walk up to them, ignore him. Or, and then I force Brew up to them by putting him on the leash. And he just behaves like that. All good signs, yeah? He's not going after the dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? That's how it used to be. Like, you'd only go play with a couple dogs at the dog park. Yeah. Or if a dog was aggressive, you'd be like, oh, there's a high oh, likelihood. I could get him under control, but like. The high likelihood he's gonna be able to play with other dogs. You know, it's just, it's just a matter of your handling, yes? I'm being honest with you. It's just your yeah. handling. Because if I do everything that I'm doing with him and I'm doing it myself, he's going to be good for me. You know what yeah, I mean? He's, yeah. he's going to be really good. What good does that do you, yeah? yeah, yeah it yeah. needs to be from you. Yeah. So this is what I was trying to explain to you over the phone. Yes, I understand he's pulling and stuff, but I got to let mom give that first pop. So do you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah, so look, one more time, right? Watch, good, 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 really fast. Good, good, you see how I touched him right there? Yeah. Sticking true all the time. Look, try to encourage him to jump on you, please. And try your best. And try, no, no, don't pet him, but just encourage him. Pet your shoulder blades. No, no, don't pet him. You're rewarding him. Touch your shoulder blades. Try to encourage him to, to jump on you. Oh, crap. Yeah. Look, that's unfair, yeah? But who cares? He, no, he, but, but who cares? You're testing him. Yeah, so exactly. That's a good point, yeah? So when I went to the Canine Academy, you know, the way I was taught to teach a dog not to jump is to ask your guest to come in and be very calm because you're training the dog. Yeah, that's not, it doesn't work, right? People are gonna be acting like that. He needs to know that regardless, he's gotta jump. Yeah, so watch, one more time. Good, good. Good, I know how to do it now. I do, I know how to do good, it. Good, good, good. Now pet him, please, that's what he wants. There you go. So you see what I'm talking about? Test him. You've got a friend coming over, you got a get together coming over, say, hey man, yeah. let's do it one by one, yeah? Text me when you're a few minutes out. Yeah. Put him on the leash. Take him out in the front yard. Yeah. Tell them to get, you know, tell them to walk up to him. If they don't have to entice him, then they don't need to. Yeah. But the moment he goes up, pop, pop, pop. Yeah. Man, you do this a couple of times, you're good. And then when you walk inside the house, you have a chain handy. So that chain is your correction if he jumps. Okay. Simple. Do you see what I mean? You just have to be about it. I'll probably, I'll probably not just stand on the all-time Know that it's going to the silence. Yeah.